एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Lagrange method of multipliers. Why we need and why uh, it is important. We did maxima minima in our uh, previous lecture. In maxima minima, we were just having one condition, one function, and we found maxima minima. Now in Lagrange multiplier, suppose you have some condi one function, and on some particular condition, you are supposed to find that this is the situation, and particularly for this situation, you have to find out. Uh, the function behavior and uh, that whether the function will be maximum or minimum. So this is how Lagrange method of multipliers help uh, to uh, get the situation for a uh, function on a particular situation. Welcome to S Chand Academy. I am Dr. Seema Thakran. If you want to study Lagrange method of multipliers in detail. Please refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The e-book link is given in the description box below. So let's start understanding. First, I'll explain you the procedure. What uh, exactly Lagrange method of multiplier? Then I'll take up uh, examples to explain the uh, Lagrange method of multipliers. So Lagrange method of multipliers. Again, it is uh, there is no condition on variables right now. So um, Lagrange me method of multipliers. Uh, what exactly the method is? You will have one function. So uh, we have function f. Then condition on which f is maxima or minima. It's not that at particular uh, for a particular situation the function will be either will be maximum or will be minimum. So how you uh, proceed? The condition on which you have to fun uh, maximize the function there must be a uh, function or equation. You will uh, call that particular condition as phi. Given function you will call as f. Then you will make a new function and the new function will be of this form. This fun after making this function, can you see I have introduced this lambda. So this lambda constant is I have multiplied the condition by lambda. That is why this method name is Lagrange method of multipliers. So I have multiplied it, and this lambda constant is uh, is the constant for Lagrange method of multipliers. After this, what you will do? You will differentiate the capital F with respect to x partially, with respect to y partially, with respect to z partially. You will put each equation equal to zero. You will put each equ equation equal to zero, and then when you will put do this after this, it's not that in this uh, Lagrange method of multipliers you will get x, y, z values directly or uh, you have to see the situation. So your equation will be in lambda and x, y, z form. From this, these three equations, you will try to link that. How uh, after solving these uh, these equations, you will try that you will get x, y, z values without lambda. It will be with lambda, but this given condition phi will help you to remove that lambda. And how come? Uh, I'm just taking one question uh, with the question help you will get better idea. So and uh, this is the only procedure you will equate to 0 the equation will be in lambda x y z and then you will uh, with the help of these uh, with the phi, uh, you will put the values in phi or you will do some calculation or you will analyze what to do to find x y z without lambda how to remove lambda basically from x y z. And Lagrange method of multiply has uh, one uh, drawback you can say or one loophole you can say. When I was discussing maxima minima for two variables without condition, the exact situation I was getting that if this is the situation the function will be maxima, if this is the situ situation function will be minima. But in Lagrange multiplier, 
if one condition is given then uh, we are not checking anything we will be assuming that if we are supposed to find we are finding maxima it means the values of x y z which we are we are getting we will say that those values will give the function maximum value so i'm just taking one question uh, to explain what is lagrange uh, multiplier method so the question is find the minimum value of the function f equal to x square plus y square plus z square on the condition that ax plus by plus cz is p a b c z, uh, and p are constants so this function you have to maximize on the condition this is cz how to find now it means one function is given and one condition it means lagrange method of multiplier you will be using so my f is x square plus y square plus z square and i told you that condition you have to assume as phi and this is how you write your phi make a new function and that is f equal to f plus lambda phi so my f becomes x square plus y square plus z square plus lambda ax plus by plus cz minus p now take the partial derivatives so partial derivative 2x plus lambda a 2y plus lambda b somehow if you get x derivative then it just goes parallel 2z plus lambda c so after this what you have to do put this equal to 0 this equal to 0 so your lambda value is um, your x value x value is minus lambda a by 2 your y value is minus lambda b by 2 and z is minus lambda c by 2 x y z i got i i got but the only problem is this lambda if i don't have then these are the points where the function will be minimum how i remove these x y z so i have one condition and that condition is a x plus b y that condition only will help because we have to minimize the function or based on this condition so put the values of a x y which we have got so this will give me lambda a square when I will substitute by 2 then minus lambda b square by 2 minus lambda c square by 2 and equal to p it means my final lambda value is p 2p and negative also minus 2p because this 2 is in common and a square plus b square plus c square. So final lambda value is minus 2p upon this now what to do? remove this lambda put the value of lambda in all x y and z you will get your x y z these uh, this x y z will give you the points where the function is minima so my x becomes when i substitute x uh, lambda value there so my so we have x equal to i'm putting the uh, the uh, in this lambda a by 2 will become negative negative positive 2 2 will get cancelled so it means a p upon a square plus b square plus c square then y value will be minus lambda b by 2 b p by because p is fixed lambda and a square plus b square plus c square and finally z that is minus lambda c by 2 that is c p by a square plus b square plus c square so what i did f then condition i assumed at phi then new function i formed that is f plus lambda phi partial derivatives i found out i equate them to zero then i got the some x y z value x y z values i put in the uh, condition which i have and through that condition i got the lambda value then again i substituted the lambda value in x y z and these are the x y z finally and 
these are the values x of x y z the function will be minimum at so the function is minimum at these uh, x y z values x y z uh, bigger values we have now i am calculating my f was x square plus y square plus z square you will get the minimum value when you will substitute the values in this function so substitute the values so p square is common because when you will square p square will be common and this this lcm will be all will also be call, cal, common and finally it is a square plus b square plus c square one will get cancelled so final value is this so this is the final value for which the function is minimum based on the condition a x plus b y plus c z equal to p so this is how lagrange method we apply and this is the end of the part one i took one problem and this was the, somehow the uh, basic problem i in part two i'll be taking one real life based problem and how lagrange method is helpful for uh, solving real life problem maximum minimum problem based on a condition that we'll cover in part two if you want to study this uh, method uh, which is lagrange method of multipliers for max finding maxima and minima on certain conditions you can refer to the book by s chan publishing the ebook link is given in the description box below don't forget to share like and subscribe s chan academy press the bell icon for the future updates stay connected stay tuned keep watching the upcoming videos thank you All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.